Hi, I'm Dr. Campbell, and let's talk about a safe and effective way to trim your pet's nails. Why do we even do this in the first place? Why trim a pet's nails? A pet's nail that's too long can certainly get snagged in the carpet, they can break, they can twist their toe, and it can cause them a lot of pain. Second, it can injure you. An unruly pet or a pet that likes to play really rough can leave you with scratches on your arms and your face. It's really important that we keep these nails really short and well trimmed. It's important to know why this can be so difficult. Pets have something called the quick. In the quick, you have blood vessels and nerves, and no one really knows how far that nerve goes out into the nail. What happens when you hit the quick? Well, before we talk about that, let's find out how we identify the quick. On a nail that's clear, you can see it. It's red, it's very, very obvious. On nails that are black, sometimes you can use a flashlight and shine it behind the nail to show where the quick is. And then, even if you still can't see it, you need to guess. And with that, I just trim the nail back a little bit each week. That way, I know I'm far away from the quick and it will keep receding with each cut. And then what if the dreaded happens? What if we do hit the quick? Remember I said, even vets do it. You use styptic powder. Certainly, this is a powder formulated to help stop bleeding. It's a yellow powder, and as you can see, what you wanna do, simply put some in your hand, place it on your finger, and place it on the nail, just like that. A home solution that you could use for styptic powder, flour. Just find some flour or some cornstarch around your kitchen, do the same thing as the styptic powder, and you should be all set in helping to stop the bleeding. Let's talk about some common methods to trimming the nails. First, here's a standard scissor type nail trimmer. Simply, the nail goes in between the scissors and you cut. Again, staying away from the quick. The second type of nail trimmer is something called a guillotine type nail trimmer. There's a very sharp blade here that takes the nail off. So the nail simply goes in here and you use the blade and do it very quickly. What are some home solutions if you don't want to go ahead and buy nail trimmers? Conveniently, some pets enjoy having their nails grinded instead of cut. And this, you can find a standard emery board and just grind the nail. Also, you can use a standard nail trimmer. If you have a cat or a very small dog, you can use a Dremel. Now, this is a really popular technique in grinding the nail because when you're done, there's no sharp edges. But remember, the nail does heat up when you're using a Dremel. Place against the nail and do it in short bursts. Again, staying away from the quick. And as you do it, just rest the Dremel against the nail. Let the Dremel do all the work. What's a good way to tell if my dog's nails need to be trimmed? Well, if they're walking around on hard surfaces like your wooden floor at home and you hear clickety-clack, clickety-clack, those nails are probably too long. Those ones need to be trimmed. Cats are a little bit more difficult. If you look at your cat's paws and you see that they tend to have flakes or crusts around the nail or things are falling apart, those nails need to be trimmed. You can't have them too brittle. And for our lovely volunteer, we have Barney and Allison. Barney's a little nervous for us today, but he's gonna demonstrate on how to clip nails. Hi, Barney, how are you? Hi, Allison. Okay, Barney, here we go. What we're going to do, Barney, is basically extend your left arm. Go ahead and extend that for me, Barney. Excellent, good job, Barney. And as you can see, Barney has black nails or really darkly pigmented nails. You're gonna to wanna to use a flashlight. And as you can see, okay, now you know exactly where the quicks are. And simply, we're gonna try the guillotine nail trimmer first. We're gonna hold the paw in our hand, okay? And you only wanna trim off a little bit of the nail. So we put it here, and simply like that. Look at the nail, uh, look at the nail assess it to see if there's any bleeding. No bleeding, we can move on to the next nail. Here I'm going to use the scissor nail trimmer. Again, paw extended. Barney's very, very cooperative. We're gonna basically place the nail in the scissor and take off a little bit. Look at the nail and there's no bleeding. I am certainly not gonna have Barney volunteer to bleed for us today. So what we'd like to do is just practice 
in case we accidentally hit the quick, we're gonna go ahead, trim the nail. There we go, no bleeding. But if there was, you simply place a little bit of the powder here on the table, place it on your finger and apply it to the nail, just like that. Okay, you could do it multiple times to help stop any bleeding. And Barney's been doing fantastic. Let's say you have an unruly dog or an unruly cat who really doesn't want their nails trimmed. You can certainly use the burrito method. You're all right, Barney. What we're gonna do is just wrap them up in a nice little tight burrito. We can use a towel as our tortilla and basically wrap it around Barney. There you go, just like that. And then Allison here is gonna help Barney extend the right paw and boom, there we go. Good job, buddy, good job. We're gonna use a scissor technique here and just go ahead and trim the nails, just like that, and we'll be done, or guillotine. Sometimes, if you're using a Dremel, you just wanna to touch it to the nail and stay away from the quick. Now that we got a chance to talk about why your pet's nails need to be trimmed, all the various apparatus you can use to do it, and we got to demonstrate here on Barney exactly how to do it, just remember to be loving but firm. Don't pity him, but don't be too forceful. If you're too stressed out or it stresses out your pet, make sure you go to the best veterinarian around to help show you how to do it, or a groomer who's professional, and they can show you exactly how to do it to make the experience loving and fun for everybody involved. Do you have a medical question you'd like me to answer? Just submit it in the comment section below, and we'll answer it next episode. Remember, there's nothing stronger than the human-animal bond. You're watching The Pet Collective Cares. Want to see more of Ask a Vet? Then don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.